Hello, Andrew Rander. We're outside of the, what theater is this? I have no idea. About to see Murder Ballad. Now, in all honesty, we saw this previously when it was Uptown. At the New York City Center. Man, and we loved it. But we didn't know what we were getting into. So our expectations were low. Now that we know that we love it, I'm wondering if in this bigger house if our expectations might be crushed. Look at Will. Murder Ballad is a song, is a tell sung, like an opera. It's about a love, love triangle that takes place in a dive bar and there's a baseball bat. We were completely bowled over, over the moon about this show when we first saw it last time. When it starred Karen Olivio. I, I know. I never can pronounce her She's name. She's now been replaced by... Cassie Levy, who's got an easier to pronounce name, but will she fill the ample shoes created by Karen? Bigger house, bigger stakes. We sound like a reality TV show. Right? Last time we saw it, Will was right in my face. Yeah, he licked your face. He did. So maybe, so, hopefully, command performance? No, maybe he'll lick my face this time? We'll see you after the one hour and 20 minute show. It's an alcohol forward show. There's a bar on the stage because the stage is a bar. A functioning bar and you can buy a drink beforehand. Beware! Because half the seats do not have access to a restroom. So pace yourself. This feels like a much bigger show. Rebecca Naomi Jones, I don't know what she did this time, but she like is off the chain this time. Much ado is made about Will Swenson, of course, and Cassie Levy, the leads. But what you have to remember is that Rebecca Naomi Jones is the narrator. And in this show takes on sort of the Joel Grey from Cabaret role of narration where she really sets the stage. She steals the show. There's something very classic about this. This is a classic universal tale. It's all about how it's told. Yeah. And the way it's told is engrossing, titillating. Ben Santon takes the lighting design to a whole new level in this larger house. When we saw it originally uptown, there's a gimmick factor to, oh, it's in a bar and they dance all around you. And mm -hmm. That gimmick factor is not as important here. Here, it's more about the music and the performance. I would say green light. Absolutely green light. It is an embarrassment of riches to have this much talent in such an intimate setting. It's sexy, it's mysterious, it's rocking, it's rollicking. Murder Ballad at the Union Square Theater, two green lights.